hello my friend welcome back again to my channel today I'm going to show you a very simple trick in order to join or combine or concatenate call it as you want several sheets of data into one single master sheet of data let's assume that we have a folder that contains many files and each file contains several sheets our goal here is to combine all these sheets into one master sheet and thereafter to combine all the data in all these Excel files into one single master file. So let's get started. The very first thing we want to do is to define the path where our Excel file is. Let's assume first that we have only one file and we want to concatenate all the sheets of data in that single file into one master sheet. The first thing we want to do is to define the path of our data. This is the path of our data. Please notice the R prefix here that is used to indicate that the string should be read as a row string. Without this R, you may get an error. After defining our path name, we will now use panda read excel command in order to import our excel sheet into Jupyter Notebook environment let's execute this and see we notice here that the command read excel only imported the data in the first sheet because remember our first sheet of data was defined like this so the sheet one only has sheet one as information sheet two has sheet 2, sheet 3 has sheet 3, but here we notice that it only imported the data in sheet 1. If you want to combine all the sheets in the Excel book, we have to use the sheet name argument and set it to none. Let's execute this command and see. We see here that this is an ordered dictionary. We have all our sheets here. Sheet 1. These are the data in sheet 1. These are the data in sheet 2. And these are the data in sheet 3. However, this is an ordered dictionary. We cannot apply the head or tail option on this because it's an ordered dictionary. The second thing we want to do is to concatenate all the data in our ordered dictionary using the pd.concat command. Now let's execute this. Now we have successfully concatenated all our data into one single table. Now what happens if our data does not have any headers? File 1 no header looks like this. We don't have any headers. Let's run this and see what will happen okay we notice here that the very first row of each sheet is considered as header okay let's use the writer comment in order to save our data frame into an excel file in order to do that we use the pd dot excel writer 
and we specify the folder, the path of the folder where we want our file to be saved in. And then we use the name of our data frame dot to Excel writer and then writer dot save. Let's open the folder. This is the folder where we want our file to be saved in. If we execute this command, our data frame will be saved into this directory. Let's do it. This is our master file. Let's open it. We notice here that since our original Excel file didn't have header, Pandas automatically use the first row of each sheet as a header. That's why after the first sheet, the second sheet of data is not directly stacked under the first sheet because Pandas didn't assume they have the same headers. That's why we observe this shift. In order to correct this issue, if our data does not have any header, let's use the header option and set it to none. So df equal pandas read excel my file. My file is our same file here sheet name to none in order to specify that we want to collect all the sheets in the excel file and then header equal none to let pandas know that our data does not have headers then let's use the concat commands in order to concatenate the other dictionary we just got here let's execute this and see now we notice that we have our data here with a new header added by pandas automatically but our data are now well organized in our table this is what we want to do when our data does not have any header we must set the header option to none in order to let our data be nicely stacked on top of each other. Now let's play with other options. Skip rows is a very nice option in order to skip some rows. And rows is to let pandas just select a certain number of rows. Use columns is used to specify the number of columns to specify the columns we want to use. Let's say we want to skip two rows from each sheet. For that, we can just set this option skip rows equal to. We can see here that the data starts from line three in sheet one. The data starts with line 3. In sheet 2, the data starts with line 3. And in sheet 3, the data also starts with line 3. Yes, let's say we want to just collect two rows per sheet. Let's set n rows here equal to 2. Let's execute and see. Now what happened is, yes, first of all, we skip two rows. This means we start here with line three and we also want to collect, we also want to collect only two rows. We see that in each sheet, only two rows are collected. And for use columns, Let's set it, for example, to 2. Let's execute it. We see that 
all the row, all the columns from column 0 to column 2 are imported. So this is how we can manipulate and extract data from Excel sheet. Okay, now let's get to the second part, the most interesting part of this video. Now we want to concatenate all the files in a folder, in a given folder. The very first thing to do is to import pandas and then import globe and then import the operating system and then import globes. As before, we define the path. Now the path is not the path of a single file. It is the path, is the folder path. Let's open this folder and see. So let's assume we have many files in a folder. This is the path of my folder here. We want to combine all the data in all the sheets and combine again all the files in this folder into one single data. So the first thing to do as before, we define the path of our folder, not the path of a single file anymore but only the path of our folder and then define the file the file names as globe.globe and we enter as argument the path plus dot xlsx this is the extension of the files we want to import from this folder then we initialize a variable I call this variable concat all sheets all files so this variable will concatenate all the sheets and then concatenate again all the files in the folder that's why I define it I define it this way so this is the initialization of our variable and then we are going to iterate for each file in these file names, first of all, let's execute only this comment and see the result. Okay, when I try to execute, it says permission error, permission denied because this file is open. Let me first close this file. Okay, let me run again let me run this comment again highlight only the comment you want to execute and click run okay let's print the file name to see what it looks like highlight and run we see that the the globe dot globe gives us all the Excel files in the folder file one, file two, and file three. Now let's iterate for file in file names. So we now we have three files in our file name. So for each of these three files we are going to execute this comment panda dot read excel and pass the file name and then the sheet name the skip row the number of rows and so on these arguments are optional but useful and then 
in the variable concatenate all sheets single file we just as before we just concatenate the data frame we got from the previous comment thereafter we use the dot append comment in order to stack the previously concatenated data on top of each other for each iteration in the previous concatenate all sheets all file we append the concatenate all sheets single file for each iteration we read the excel file and then we concatenate all sheets in a single file using this command thereafter we append that sheet into concatenate all sheets all files and we do this for every files in the folder and that's it so let's execute this and see this is what the results look like in order to clearly see the results what we want to do now is to write this result into a file using the excel writer comment we specify the path where we want our master file to be saved let's save our data into an excel file using the writer command so we define writer as pd.excel writer and specify the path where we want to save our excel file and then use our data frame our data frame is saved into concat all sheet all file variable dot to excel and then parenthesis writer let's open this folder and execute this comment if we execute this our data will be created and the data will be called master file dot xls let's execute this this is our master file that has been created in our directory let's open the file and see what it looks like we have all our data let us check it these are the data in file one sheet one these are the data in file one sheet two file one sheet three file two sheet one file two sheet two file two sheet three file three sheet one file three sheet two file three sheet three and file three sheet four so these are the few command line that we can use in python in order to concatenate all the excel files in order to concatenate data in all excel files located in one directory into one master file this ends this tutorial i hope you enjoy it there will be many other tutorials coming please subscribe for more to come thank you bye bye